Hey guys, I am Becky. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to the 12 Days of Christmas hosted by Kathy Feigl. This is day number four. Now I am going to be scrap lifting myself. You can see in the top left hand corner of your screen, there is a layout I had previously done. I am doing this layout for a challenge over at the Hip Kit Club group. And it was a challenge to use white space or to leave white space. So that's what we're going to be doing here. Now the items I'm using, guys, uh, it's kind of a mixed bag. Do you remember when I did that big old haul from um, Chamel's December list? And then also I got the Hip Kit Club kit for December. So it's all of this mixed together. And I cannot tell you which is which. Unfortunately, we did end up, we, by we, I mean my nephew and I <laughs> ended up putting everything all together because we ended up making an album. Nope, I'm not going to say that. Don't say that. We ended up, <laughs> we ended up making an album, some type of album that was a surprise for his mom. See, I didn't want to re-record this, so I'm just going to say it's some type of album. I don't think that his mom watches my channel, but that's okay. Uh, yeah, so we mixed all our supplies together just so we could get um, everything he wanted up on this sheet, and he is an embellishing fool. Brandon likes to use the bits, the especially the chipboard bits. He is all about them and the puffy bits. So there you go. <laughs> so you can see right here, I am using this really pretty black and white check. I do think that is a exclusive paper that was from Hip Kip Club and also the green one that I'm using as well right here. Now that tag probably came from the Simple Stories 6x6 paper pad if I had to guess. I wanted to use that because the, the dress that Riley is wearing is that same red and black buffalo check. So I thought that was so cute. I am going to be inking the edges of this using some black ink from close to my heart. I actually am going to be inking the edges of everything. I'm still very much in to that. Uh, yeah, that still, that trend still hasn't went away from me. I think that it's not for me with the inking. It's not so much the look of it. It's the process of inking the edges that I really enjoy. I, I do enjoy the look as well, but I really enjoy the process of inking the edges for some reason. So yeah, I don't know if that's going to be going away anytime soon. And if it does, it'll probably be replaced with something else that's you know, that same kind of night, same kind of, you know, not using your mind, uh, technique that you might do. So yeah, uh, I do enjoy inking the edges just because inking the edges is not necessarily the look of. So I took these photos of Riley. Now this is in the 12 days of Christmas. I am using Christmas products, but these photos were actually taken on Thanksgiving and I just loved her dress. So yeah. We are going to go ahead and use that. You can't see her dress so good in those photos, how you're seeing them. My lighting was a little off this day. I think I was doing this in the, in the evening time. So we didn't have any sun because hello winter. So yeah, um, it is a little darker. You look like, it looks like you can't really see the details of her dress, but you can <laughs> in real life. I am going to be using this tag. It says wonder on it and it says, uh, moments of magic. And I'm going to sit that right down there. So I am going to use that as a title wonder. Now I did thread my tags with some embroidery floss that is the gold metallic. I did it on the red one and I also do it on this little wonder tag. Now the wonder tag, I leave some hanging across the bottom. You can see right here, I'm going to go ahead and tape it down the back, but then I'm going to pull it over to the side so you can kind of see it come out the side of that tag as well. I like that little detail. It gives you just a little bit more gold down, you know, down the ways a little bit. It looks really cute. I love it. Now I am going to end up pulling out some chipboard pieces, even though this was done Thanksgiving and, and it actually it's perfect that it was done Thanksgiving because my Christmas tree was up. Um, we are going to be decorating this with some uh, Christmas ornaments. First, I am going to use this little tag sticker right there. I did pop it up on some foam tape. I am going to be using these two chipboard 
ornament pieces. Actually, no, that's a lie. One of them is a chipboard. That red one that's over on the left-hand side, it is a die cut. So I am gonna be using those. I'm also gonna be using another label over at the top left. And right here, I am building the cluster with that chipboard piece. And I use this uh, die cut that says love on it. I thought that was so cute. Here's that other label. I wanted to tie in a little bit more of the label look, right? Because I already have one down at the bottom. So I am gonna stick this up at the top. Yeah, it takes me a minute. Uh, Marissa and I went and got our nails done. <laughs> so it's uh, kind of not as easy to work with scrap baking supplies it, it, as it is when you don't have nails. So there you go. Now, Marissa's nails are real. These suckers that are on my fingers right here are fake. They are not real. I would like to grow them out and just start using gel polish so hopefully they won't break, but I'm not there right now. I've had a stressful past couple of months and y'all know I am a stress nail biter. So yeah, <laughs> they were getting pretty bad. I did find these other little die cuts. They're all these little holly berries. Um, I found two of them. I don't know if they're from Hip Kit Club or not, but I am going to use both of them. I'm going to use one at the bottom and I'm also going to use one at the top right by that little love decal. Looks so cute. You can see I am dumping out all of these die cuts. See, all these die cuts end up getting mixed together. This is why I cannot tell you where the different bits come from. I did go through all of those. I did also find a puffy sticker. It says good day. And I put it on that label down there at the bottom. That's where I'm going to stick this little berry cluster right like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and commit to the top right. I think, yeah, I'm going to put this little berry cluster down as well. Now I did not ink the edges of these. These are kind of like a slick surface and the close to my heart ink I was using is uh, kind of a water soluble one. So it just, it would just smudge. It would not be, it was not archival or anything like that. So yeah, I didn't, I didn't, and I didn't mess with those uh, glossy ones at all. Um, you can see right here, I am going to go ahead and finish up my layout with some gold splatters by Jen Hadfield. This is the Jen Hadfield uh, gold splatter ink that Jesse sent me. So yeah, I do splatter that down around the page. I love it. Look at all that white space. Now the pictures I took, they not good, not good. It was dark again when I took them. So yeah, you get what you get guys. All right, please check the links down below to check out all the other ladies who are participating on day four. Thank you so much for joining me and I will see you next time. Bye guys.